Kiki here with you and today we're here for day 13 of the uh, 30 inks in 30 days. I'm getting better at saying the word. Um, I'm happy to report that the the ink of yesterday, the Colorverse Rainy Day, it didn't go, it didn't fade. So that's really, that's really cool. It is a very pretty uh, pale blue. So depending on what you write, um, obviously on white it shows better. Um, I would not necessarily put it on other type of colors because I'm not sure how well it would be um, you could read it but but yeah it's very pretty so today we're doing another sample and it's from the same ink flight number 39 from April 2020 and it's the diamond deep diamine deep dark purple and of course purple I mean I love purple so I'm very excited about this one. I paired it with my Pilot um, MR Metropolitan and it's a medium nib and it was a gift from a friend. So very, um, I love this pen so much and I'm so happy to have it inked up, especially with purple because I mean, I love purple. So let's, uh, let's do the chromatography and then we can see how that goes. Get that going. So I inked it up before so that I wouldn't be taking so much time trying to ink it up. Now we'll do the splotches and everything. It's very dark. Well, and the fact that it's called deep dark purple, I guess. It makes sense, right? So. I really like it. It's the perfect color for this this pen. Like totally perfect color for it. And let's do a little bit of a swab. And you can see when it <clears throat> when it dries in some places it stays dark but in some it goes more towards the a pink type of view and I thought this was me medium nib but I'm not sure anymore and I'm seeing CM so I'm gonna have to check it out because I thought it's medium but it feels more like a stub now that I've used up some stub nibs I know a little bit more about them which might be why I love this one so so much so this is the diamine deep dark purple and we're April yeah, I, I've got a feeling it's definitely not a medium. So I'm going to have to search it out because I love, 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 love the snib so much. Now I think I want to put it on everything. So this is my Pilot Metropolitan. Oops, Metropolitan. Um our retro pop in purple and if you watch my channel you know how much I love purple so today I figured we're gonna do something about cleaning which definitely is not a thing I like but I figure you know with purple everything looks better so it's housekeeping by Nat Natasha Threadaway hopefully pronouncing this okay <coughs> housekeeping by Natasha anyway. <coughs> okay so we 
mourn the broken things chair legs wrenched from their seats chip plates and the thread their clothes we work the magic of glue and as crafters we know that what glue can do drive the nails mend the holes I always said if something cannot be fixed with uh, with um, oh my god I'm, I'm gonna I lost the name this is this is bad it's gonna come back um, we see what we can melt small pieces of soap gather fallen pecans keep neck bones for soup Eating rugs against the house. We watch. Just lit like stars duct tape that's what I was looking for if something doesn't doesn't get solved with duct tape it's not gonna get fixed that was what I wanted to say it, it was like driving me bonkers not remembering Okay, spreading across the yard, late afternoon, we draw the blinds to the rooms drive the bugs out my mother irons singing Lost in every I mark the pages of a mail order catalog. 
listen for passing cars all day. We watch for the mail. Some news from a distant place. That's a very pretty ink to use for writing and I will be having a lot of fun writing with it um, because I just finished the purple I had um, that I was using in my swan pen from um, Jin Hao so I was it's just in time for for this one and uh, yeah I miss playing with uh, with purple I, I really love purple just got to say I really love purple so let's check out the chromatography because it's pretty much finished and you can see that there's a lot of blue in this one especially like at the top top you can see it starts and then get the deeper uh, pinkish purple and then it goes into like the deep deep blue type of color so it's really fun. I'm loving chromatography so so much. It's it's really a fun part of the the process. So I hope you like this color. That I've got to say that out of all the ones we've used so far, um, I I really like this one, the the Sailor uh, Seven Three Five. I like the the sheen in it. Um. And obviously this shimmer, the color, Colorverse Felicity. And this one, well, it's it's a gorgeous green. This one, see, that's the one I had in my in my uh, Jin Hell. And, and you can see it's, it's a bit similar. But there's more, there's more blue in, in this new one. Like it's darker, it feels darker. You can see it's darker like you can compare and see how much darker it is so similar but this one is darker so so yeah it's uh and then there's this one which was the krishna seeing that storm uh which is even darker i guess than than this one you can kind of see them together so this one is darker than this one but anything purple, I mean, I, I love it. So, there's really, it's a good thing that we're doing samples because otherwise it probably would be, end up being a lot of, a lot, lot, lot of purple and teal. And so far we don't have a teal really. We don't have a teal, which is surprising. But I think some are coming, so stay tuned for those. So we shall see that soon. Hope you are all doing well and uh, go and play with your, your pens if you have them and play with your inks and just have fun. So that's it. Bye.